You remember from our introduction to valves and controls, this is a sobering topic. And we take it seriously, because without these controls, disaster happens, right? But fortunately, over time, plumbers and inventors have come up with some very ingenious ways of holding that pressure back. Consider the fundamental of a valve. It has to have on the inside of the pipe some way of stopping the flow and holding the pressure. And it has to have on the outside of the pipe some way for us to manipulate that. Let's start off by having a look at some of the different types of valves and the way that they function. A gate valve opens and closes as a disc is raised and lowered in and out of the way of the pipe. You can see here it's about half open. The handle raises and lowers that disc. When it's all the way down, it seals off the flow. When it's all the way up, it flows right through. Gate valves were one of the earlier forms of valves developed, so there are many of them installed in older water pipe systems, but they are still occasionally installed today. A compression valve looks similar to a gate valve, especially just looking at the handle, but inside, instead of having a disc moving, there is a rubber washer that is pressed against a brass seat. This is where it seals up inside of the valve. Now, this type of valve creates a little more flow restriction because it's not a straight shot through, but it has been very commonly employed in many types of valves. The ball valve is one of the most common valves installed today. It uses a ball inside of the valve that can turn 90 degrees in one direction. It allows flow straight through. When the valve is closed, the ball turns and seals up completely the pathway of the water. Ball valves are much quicker to shut off because it is a simple quarter turn action from open to closed. You can get ball valves that are threaded so they can be connected onto threaded pipes. You can get ball valves that are sweat so they can be soldered onto copper pipes. You can also get ball valves that have a barbed PEX connection so they can be crimped into PEX. You can get a ball valve that is PVC glued and can be glued onto PVC pipe. So you can see the ball valves have many uses. They've become very popular because of their easy function and their reliability. If there's ever a problem at a fixture, say a leak, we want to be able to isolate that fixture, turn off the water to the fixture without having to shut down the entire building. So we have fixture stops and fixture shut off valves. Let's have a look at some of those. Fixture stops can most often be found underneath the sink in a cabinet or often behind a fixture like behind the toilet here. An angle stop is a fixture stop that connects to a horizontal pipe protruding from a wall. It creates a 90 degree angle. A straight stop would connect to a pipe that comes vertically out of the floor and continues in a straight line. When describing a fixture stop, we start by stating the system connection and then we state the fixture connection. So this would be a 5 8 OD compression by 3 8 OD compression angle stop. The OD stands for outside diameter of the pipe that this is attaching to and the 3 8 OD is the most common connection for a fixture supply. Here we have a 5 8 OD compression by 3 8 OD compression straight stop. Here we have a half inch FIP by 3 8 OD compression angle stop. This one is a half inch FIP by 3 8 OD compression straight stop. Here we have a half inch PEX barbed by 3 8 OD compression angle stop. Here we have a half inch PEX barbed by 3 8 OD compression straight stop. And this one is a 5 8 OD compression by 3 8 OD compression by quarter inch OD compression double angle stop. Whoa, say that 10 times fast. In addition to fixture stops, we also have appliance connection valves like this half inch PEX barbed by quarter inch OD compression recessed ice maker connection valve kit. Hey now, don't stress this, just call it a PEX ice maker box. There's also the half inch PEX barbed by three quarter inch male hose recessed washer box valve kit. 
Once again, don't stress it on this one. When you're ordering one of these at a supplier, just call it a PEX washer box. Also, the flushometer valve has a built-in fixture stop. It's right where it comes out of the wall. That's good to be aware of. All right, we've had a look at a variety of different types of valves and fixture shutoff valves. Please understand that this is just a sampling and some of the more common valves that we see or use as plumbers, but there are many others. Each of the types of valves that we looked at earlier can be purchased in a whole wide range of different pipe sizes. So as with other pipe fittings, first you would want to indicate the size of the valve that you need and then the type of the valve. The valves in this presentation have mainly been valves that are used to turn on and off the water. In our next presentation, we'll look at a variety of valves that control pressure, temperature, and that provide extra safety. I will see you in the next one, and remember, plumbers have the control.